Welcome to Maritime Training Videos. In this video, you will find how a consignment of DG cargo can be packed for transportation. Amanda and James will explain with the reference of IMDG Code Part 4. Once we have information about the UN number of intended DG cargo, IMDG Code Volume 2 Part 3 has to be referred. Detailed cargo information including proper shipping name, DG classification, packing group is most important of others. Enter into the DGL of Part 3. In our case, UN number 2031 PG2 is the cargo concern. For the purpose of proper packing arrangement, we will see the first option of several methods which is to see column numbers 8 and 9. Column 8 is packing instruction and column 9 is about special packing provision for that particular UN number. In this case, packing instruction is P001 and provision is PP81. First to find out more on P001 that instructs the packer about detail packing instruction. P001 also has many options. If you select a combination packing arrangement, you will have to pack the cargo at least two layers of packing. Glass, plastics, or metal can be used as inner packagings, and their respective maximum allowable capacities are mentioned attached. In the option of outer packagings, a plywood box, 4D, or fiberboard box, 4G, can be selected. Other options are also available. Whether 4D or 4G option, we can pack up to 400 kilograms as maximum capacity in the outer packaging as the cargo packing group is too. Special packing provision PP81 is to be observed when this packing arrangement is being processed. For UN 2031, nitric acid having more than 55%, we need to pay attention when you choose a single packaging system, however, our case is combination packaging, and in this case, PP81 is irrelevant. Four GV fiberboard boxes and four DV plywood boxes are allowed to be used provided they are under same conditions and limitations applicable to the use of that type of packaging according to the relevant packing instruction. These fiberboard boxes are available for packing, and the packer needs to fully understand maximum permissible gross mass in a kilogram. There are provisions for the use of inner packagings. Variations in inner packagings are allowed without further testing of the package provided such inner packaging was used in outer packaging when tested. Let's have a look at how inner packagings can be tested together with the test of outer packagings.
Now, this was a way to conduct a drop test and any other different types of inner packagings may be used provided such an equivalent level of performance is maintained. Non-specific inner packagings however glass bottles are selected in this case which would be packed with vermiculite available in different sizes of 4GV fiberboard boxes allows for goods to be shipped. IMDG Code Volume 1 Part 4 Stated Provisions for Cushioning and Absorbent Materials There must be sufficient additional cushioning and absorbent materials, and in this case, vermiculite is used as an absorbent and cushioning in the outer packagings. Assemble the box begin by unfolding the box and sealing the bottom flaps with the 75 mm adhesive tape in U-shape. Place the supplied liner bag inside the box and add a layer of the vermiculite at the bottom before placing your inner packaging in the box ensuring minimum space is shown. Inner packagings, in this case, are the glass bottles and they can be as big as 10 liters. Completely fill all remaining void space with vermiculite, ensuring a minimum layer at the top of the box. Seal the liner bag with 75 mm adhesive tape. Finish by closing top flaps and sealing closed with 75 mm adhesive tape in U-shape. Your product is now correctly packed and ready for appropriate hazard labels to be affixed along with all necessary consignment information ready for transport. Of UN approved 4DV plywood boxes suitable for shipping dangerous goods by road sea or air utilizing non-specific in packaging are available in different sizes. In this case, the maximum allowable amount for glass inner packagings is 10 liter. And 400 kilograms net mass is the maximum capacity for outer packaging of packing group 2 materials. Assemble the box begin by unfolding the box and ensuring all slots from the base are aligned with the corresponding locking tabs. Push down the base, firmly bending tabs into the locked position. Tap the tabs securely in place using either tab locking tools supplied separately or set of suitable pliers and hammer. Place the supplied liner bag inside the box and add a layer of the vermiculite at the bottom. Before placing your inner product or products in the box ensuring minimum space is shown. Completely fill or remaining space with vermiculite, ensuring a minimum layer at the top of the box. Seal bag with 75 mm adhesive tape. Finish by placing the lid on top of the box and locking closed as with the base using the provided locking tab tool or set of suitable pliers and hammer. Your product is now correctly packaged and ready for appropriate hazard labels be affixed along with all other necessary consignment information ready for transport. Now we have discussed some example of how a DG cargo can be packed. 
according to the IMDG code requirements. In the next video, we will see an alternative way of packing the same DG cargo in limited quantities and accepted quantities. Thank you for watching.